Hello, and welcome to Booker Hydraulics. I am David Stevenson, product manager for our North American Power Pack product line. In today's video, we will review how a standard Booker Hydraulics Power Pack relief valve functions and how to safely adjust the relief valve setting of your system. Hydraulic relief valves have an instrumental role in the safe functionality of a hydraulic power pack system. Adjusting a relief valve setting incorrectly can result in permanent damage to your hydraulic system as well as the piece of equipment it is installed on. More importantly, relief valve adjustment can result in serious personal injury or property damage. Therefore, the following information is intended for use by qualified individuals with a working knowledge of hydraulic principles. Professional servicing of the system's relief valves is recommended. We recommend referring to the manufacturer's safety recommendations located in the owner's manual. Most equipment manufacturers include mechanical safety locks to hold the system in place during maintenance. The use of these systems is critical in the safe adjustment of a hydraulic relief valve. Do not adjust the pressure relief valve while located under a piece of lifted hydraulic equipment without some type of mechanical restraint. There are two primary relief valve types used in Bucher Hydraulics power units, ball and spring type and VMO1 conical poppet type. These valves are easy to identify from the exterior of your Bucher Hydraulics power pack. As you can see here, a ball and spring type relief valve has an exposed adjustment screw with a recessed 3 16 hex drive. The VMO1 valve, on the other hand, typically includes a hexagonal cap that covers the adjustment screw, as you can see here. Now that you have identified the type of relief valve used in your system, we will review the function of your system's relief valve. Most Bucher Hydraulics power pack systems utilize direct acting relief valves. The function of a direct acting relief valve is simple in principle. The ball and or poppet portion of the valve is exposed to pressure within your system. When your system reaches the preset limit set point of the valve, the ball or poppet will lift and allow flow from the pump to return back to the oil reservoir. In most cases, a Bucher Hydraulics power unit will have a primary system relief that is responsible for setting the maximum pressure the system can produce. Many systems also include auxiliary relief valves to limit the pressure of other specific functions within your hydraulic system. Today, we will review how to adjust the system relief, but these principles also apply to most auxiliary relief valves found in power pack systems. The items required to adjust a ball and spring relief valve are a 9 16 wrench, a 3 16 Allen wrench, a hydraulic pressure gauge, a T fitting, gloves, and safety glasses. The first step in adjusting a relief valve is reviewing the equipment's operator's manual or power pack drawing to determine the location and recommended pressure settings for your valve you are adjusting. Now that you have determined your target relief valve setting and reviewed all safety recommendations, you will want to install a pressure gauge on your system. If a pressure gauge is not already included on your power pack assembly, a gauge can be installed using a T-fitting as shown below. Ensure all hydraulic lines are properly tightened. Now, extend or retract your hydraulic system while watching the pressure gauge. Once the cylinder has reached end of stroke, your pressure gauge should spike as shown here. As you can see, the system's current set point is 2100 PSI. To adjust the setting of the system relief, we will first loosen the relief valve jam nut. Next, using your 316 Allen wrench, 
Adjust the valve set screw in quarter turn increments until the desired pressure setting is reached. Clockwise rotation of the set screw will increase the pressure while counterclockwise rotation will decrease the pressure setting. As you can see, this adjustment has resulted in a 2500 PSI pressure setting. It is important to note that you should not turn the set screw all the way in or all the way out. Turning the set screw all the way in can cause harm to your power unit and potentially you. Turning the set screw all the way out will not only leak fluid from your system, but can also result in uncontrolled movements of your application. Once you have adjusted your set screw to your desired pressure setting, tighten the 9 16th jam nut while holding the set screw in place with your Allen wrench. The recommended torque value for the 9 16th jam nut is 90 to 110 inch pounds. Over tightening of the valve jam nut can cause damage to the valve sealing washer resulting in oil leakage. You have now successfully adjusted a ball and spring type relief valve. The items required to adjust a VM01 relief valve are a 13 millimeter wrench, a four millimeter Allen wrench, a hydraulic pressure gauge, T-fitting, gloves, and safety glasses. The steps required for adjusting a VM01 relief valve are very similar to those covered for the ball and spring relief valve instructions. Please follow the steps listed in the ball and spring adjustment instructions for reviewing application pressure settings gauge installation, and safety information. Similar to the ball and spring relief, we will first determine the system's current pressure setting by extending or retracting the hydraulic system while watching the pressure gauge. Once the cylinder has reached end of stroke, your pressure gauge should spike as just seen here. This system is currently set to 750 PSI. To adjust the setting of the relief valve, we will first loosen the relief valve's hexagonal cap using your 13 millimeter wrench. Next, using your 4mm Allen wrench, adjust the valve set screw in quarter turn increments until the desired pressure setting is reached. Again, clockwise rotation of the set screw will increase the pressure setting, while counterclockwise rotation will decrease the pressure setting. It is again important to note that you should not turn the set screw all the way in or all the way out. Turning the set screw all the way in can cause harm to your power unit and potentially you. Turning the set screw all the way out will not only leak fluid from your system, but can also result in uncontrolled movement of your application. Once you have adjusted your set screw to the desired pressure setting, reinstall the 13 millimeter cap. It is very important to verify that the copper sealing washer is installed between the relief valve body and valve cap. If this washer is not installed, the system will leak between this joint. We recommend the torque value for the valve cap is 100 to 125 inch pounds. Again, over tightening of the relief valve cap can cause damage to the valve's sealing washer resulting in oil leakage. You have now successfully adjusted your VM01 relief valve. We hope you have found this video informative and helpful. Bucher Hydraulics will continue to publish further instructional videos to help address your product needs. 
please visit our Bucher Hydraulics YouTube channel for access to a growing library of product videos, instructional information, troubleshooting guides, and more. Thank you.